morning welcome back to the channel um i hope everyone is doing well it's early it's half six and i'm just having a coffee and i'm gonna have a bit of cereal and then it is long run time so today is a double session i've got a long run this morning which is my longest ever run two and a half hours and then i'm going to open water swim this evening i'll take you along with me what i eat today and how we train so that's exciting i'm just currently ordering a new watch because if you can see i don't have mine on <laughs> because unfortunately the other day i um, I had a little accident on my bike, or a couple of little accidents on my bike. Um, <laughs> first one involving a car, unfortunately. <laughs> Basically, I was coming down a cycle path. There was a road driveway thing coming out of like a, sort of like a static home caravan park thing. And I think I thought I had the right of way. He didn't see me coming and I just went straight into the side of his car. Um, so that was a bit of a shock <laughs> like i was fine and everything he was cross obviously because he's a driver and they all hate the cyclists i obviously didn't drive into his car on purpose but he was very quick to say it was my fault but it is what it is like his car's really not that damaged i'm alive <laughs> which is the main thing so anyway i carried on with my work ride because it was a five and a half hour ride and i was like i need to get it done and then it was I mean, anyone who's living in the UK at the moment knows that it's not stopped raining for about 700 days. So I, <laughs> for fuck's sake, I um, was coming to the end of my ride and it, I was like 10k away from home, but I was starving. I was supposed to do a run off the bike, although in my head I think I told myself I hadn't because after this crash into the car, I was just in a mood. Um, so I went to go pull over because I had a banana to eat. I hadn't really fueled on my bike, I think, after the shock of the car incident so I went to go pull over on the curb and it was a drop curb that normally on any other normal day you'd just ride onto it'd be fine but not today <laughs> not on um when was it Sunday Saturday when I rode and um yeah I clipped the curb and my bike flew out from under me smacked onto the floor I had a from well, I don't know which injuries were from which crash um but I had a huge swollen thumb which I think was from the first crash but i had like a bleeding hand a bleeding knee my i mean my, my shoulders just started to recover it's a bit sore to touch i've got bruises on my leg i've got raises on my hip <laughs> oh it was awful and a lovely man saw it all happen and he was in his van and he came over he was like you can put your bike in my van i can drive you home and i was like no i'm fine i'm fine I'm trying to hold the tears back and um, i obviously wasn't fine and just the shock and everything i got home and i sobbed and sobbed and sobbed and i didn't stop sobbing for like three hours you know and it just keeps coming back to you and you're like oh <laughs> oh what what a day what yeah so it's safe to say i didn't do the run off the bike anyway um all of that to tell you that i also when i fell smashed my watch so I need to buy a new one and i mean me needs to buy a new one for a while because my elevation and stuff on my watch doesn't work and it was just been a bit temperamental um so it's a bit of a ugh, hit because it's like a lot of money but I use it every day. I use it every day, twice a day, as you'll see today. So I'm just charging actually my old watch because it is all cracked, but I don't know if it's working or not because I need it for my run today. So I don't know, maybe I'll just two, two and a half hours just off how I feel, which actually would be a quite a nice run, not going off paces and stuff. I don't know, we'll see if that works. So anyway, I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna have a bowl of cereal. Um, I ate quite a lot yesterday. I had like a big pasta dish for my evening meal and also a big bowl of cereal after dinner. I just couldn't stop eating yesterday, but then my period did come this morning. So um, that explains so much because I was emotional yesterday. I needed to nap yesterday. Oh, it was an absolute. This, just this past couple of weeks of Ironman training, you know what? I've been like mentally really challenging and then if some of the things sound really trivial but it just you know when one thing after another after another and it's like oh this is going too fucking hard so i'm just trying to smile through the whole thing and it's fine it's fine so anyway i'm gonna order this watch a little treat to myself for training so hard and for getting through my fall off my bike and then yeah i'll have some cereal anyway let's do it mm. Good. I've ordered it. <laughs> I went for the Fenix 7S 
sapphire solar <laughs> bloody hell looking at all the fenix watches there's so many of them i'm looking forward to that and i went for a slightly different color than i normally would do usually i go for all black but i went for like the bronzy kind of one change it up a little bit so right let's get some let's get some breakfast i'm just gonna look at this special k but then i'm gonna take some gels and stuff with me and fuel on the run I'm not really hungry. As I said, I did have quite a lot to eat last night. But we'll just get some food. And then what I'll do is have a big breakfast when I get home. That's what I look forward to. After my runs, I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna eat? So much is what I'm gonna eat. I always use almond milk as well, because I just find it doesn't sit as heavy on my stomach. Personally. Mm. A cereal is like the main thing that everyone here sees me eat. <laughs> I do eat other things. There's some caps that say fur mama on them. <laughs> and then antisocial dog owner. <laughs> that is me. <laughs> I'm supposed to leave at seven, but it's ten to seven. I'll make it quarter seven. This way. Right. We're ready to go. So couple of gels I'm taking with me and I'm taking the sweets that I've got left. Right, I've got my watch which is, if you can see, completely cracked like so. Um, so it is still working though as you can see and um, the face is still on and everything but the other day on Monday I went swimming and obviously the water got inside so it just had an absolute meltdown and went off but i imagine it's dried out now so hopefully that will work for today's run and then hopefully my new one will arrive in the next couple of days let's get this on get going because i'm already 10 minutes late already 10 minutes late um oh shit, i need to think of music the other day i was listening to miley cyrus because she's great and then I'm just gonna run in my ASICS Nova Blasts. I'm enjoying training these at the moment. I don't train, I used to train just in carbon shoes, which you shouldn't really do. It's not good for your feet. And as well, you wanna save them for your races. Like you don't need to be wearing carbon trainers in, in training, which I think we've all been guilty of, but there's no need. And then when I wore my, so I've been training in these and then I wore my carbon shoes for my 70.3 in Finland and I just felt like I was just sailing along. It was a nice feeling, so um, that is the beauty of not training in them and keep them nice and fresh as well, but you also do really feel the difference um, of running, of racing in carbon shoes. <clears throat> so that's what I'm gonna do. There's no point in, yeah, if you're not racing and they've just got like, the, today is literally all zone two. Um, you don't need a racing shoe to run a zone two, do you? No. No, no. My thumb hurts from where I've fallen. I don't think I've broken it. Maybe I just sprained it, but it's just like this knuckle in here. Fucking kills. Right, let's get some music ready. Get some Miley on, I think, again. Because you can't go wrong. We are ready to go. I'll see you on the run, or in two and a half hours. We'll see, we'll see what happens. We are about 30 minutes in. This first section is, there's like four blocks of sort of firm effort, two blocks of 15 at like 440, 450, and two blocks of 12 at like the 430 to 440, and then a bit of easy running between, and then an hour, just nice and easy after that. So let's go, it's already started raining a bit, but it stops, but it's fine. We're used to running in this rain at this point in England. Um, I'm just happy it's not windy. The other day, the wind killed me. But yeah, we're all good. About 50 minutes done. Two of the firm blocks done. Two left. Slightly shorter, slightly faster. Gel time, and then easy running. Ooh. Right, we're into the final hour. Which is nice. So, um, an hour, like around five minute per kilometre pace. Maybe I'll drop it to like five ten. See how I feel. Um, but it's nice to have the bulk of it done, the hard bit done. Um, an hour and twenty tick. So yeah, just an hour to enjoy. We're having a jam in like five minutes. Got some sweets with me, carrying 
Oh, what's the muscle? Just checking nothing's behind me. This is a road. Um, so yeah, all going good so far. Longest ever run. Yes. Wowzers. I am buzzing with that. The longest ever run, 30k. Just under two and a half hours. That felt amazing. <laughs> that felt so good. No tummy issues, no real issues like with fatigue or pacing. Like it just was one of those runs that felt good. I'm in such a good mood now. I feel like when I welcomed the vlog before, it was very early and I was pretty tired. So welcome back to the vlog. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you haven't watched any of my videos so far, my name is Laura. I'm currently training for my first Ironman, which is in Copenhagen in four weeks on Sunday, I think it is, which is getting very close now. So the volume of my training is really mounting up. Um, we have got some big sessions this week and this weekend. Um, but yeah, that was my longest ever run and I'm over the moon about it. Um, God, I remember back to the days when I was training for a 10K and like, if I had to do an 8K, I'm like, oh my God, this is a long run. And I just ran 30K, 30K. Yes, haha. <laughs> I'm feeling so good after that run. Very proud of myself. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've never done that distance. And I was hoping to do that distance today, but um, yesterday I was, it was literally like night and day, my mood and my energy levels today in comparison to yesterday. I literally was like trying to stop myself from going for a nap at like 10 a.m. yesterday. And I cried and I um, just just couldn't, I don't know how to explain it. My brain just wouldn't work. Like I was trying to get work done, but then I was like, oh my God, what I do like with my clients isn't good enough. And like, oh God, like I'm even doing the right thing with my work. It's just, you know, when your brain just won't shut up and you can't rationalize things that's going on in your head. And then I couldn't stop eating. I had so much to eat yesterday. I had a bowl of cereal at like 10 o'clock last night. Um, and then my period came this morning and it just all made sense. It just all made sense. Honestly, us girls have it so hard. I am a different person today than I was yesterday. Like a different person. <laughs> and I prefer this person I am today. I'm glad I didn't vlog yesterday because you would have got a very different person. You would have got a vlog that you're like, what do you know? She's fucking miserable. Anyway. <laughs> It's breakfast time. It's a late breakfast actually. I've had obviously had my bowl of cereal, but I need a lot more than that. So I'm gonna make my usual like yogurt bowl with fruit and things like that. And then, yeah, then I'll probably have my lunch in about two hours after that. So let's go eat. Yeah, anyway, just a lead. Um, or I'll just take his. I don't know how many, what time's lunch. And does it? Like, yeah. Sort of. This well. Okay. Where did it Leggings off. It all stuck to the scab on my knee. Oh. Uh, just tore it all off. Oh. Uh, hmm. Hmm. It's lunchtime. I've just made. Oh, I say I've made. I've not made. I've got it all over me. Let me move this. I have just reheated. We had pasta for tea last night and 
we left some for me to have today <laughs> so i didn't have to cook i'd completely forgotten about it that was in the fridge and i saw it and i was like yes um i've added three chicken sausages to it to just add a bit more protein because we need the protein after that big run this morning um but yeah, it's like chicken chorizo tomato pepper that sort of pasta load of broccoli on the side obviously load of cheese on top as well and oh, i can't wait Mm. Mm. I've got to eat big to train well when you're training, doing this much training. Every meal is a big one. Um, but yeah, just been working all morning. Really nothing exciting. I snacked a little bit on some Doritos, but I'm probably a bit behind on calories. So I'll have this, I'll have a snack and then I'm swimming and then I'll eat my tea afterwards. But yeah, just... Um, this is my lunch for today, in the double session. I could eat this every day. Pasta is life. I don't believe that there was once a time in my life where I didn't eat pasta. I missed out. Mm. I was at a um, seminar the other day and um, there was a section about nutrition and I've got a, a, a good knowledge of nutrition from obviously the job that I do but also like from personal experience from like my bodybuilding days I learned so much about nutrition um and like within the bodybuilding world like protein is such like a like a big thing like eat your protein and all that but in the like endurance world I think a lot of endurance athletes think that like that doesn't apply to them like we don't for some reason need as much protein when actually like the research suggests that endurance athletes need more protein per kilo of body weight than um like sort of gym goers like the the guys that I say the guys the people that lift weights in the gym obviously off, often a lot of people think like it's the other way around that people who lift weights need more protein when actually you know we put our bodies through so much and we like wear ourselves down and like our muscles obviously deteriorate far faster because we're not like using them and stimulating them in, in them in a way that you would in the gym so we need to also back that up with eating plenty of protein um which i thought was really interesting i mean i eat loads of protein but obviously so many endurance athletes just focus on like carbs just need more carbs with carbs because we've got a few big sessions which obviously yes you need lots of carbs but you also need the protein as well so i thought it was quite interesting i don't want this to end <laughs> just keep eating it all day mm. That was so great. Mm. Mm. I feel like I need something else then. Maybe like. I don't know. It baffles my mind because there'd be a time in my life where, I mean, that would have been too big as like a, an evening meal, like a load of lunch. I wouldn't have had. Um, that sort of sized meal for for lunch because I would always think like you just have to have like well nothing for lunch I would just always stick to skip lunch but you can't be skipping lunch when you're training for an night mum you can't skip any opportunity to eat you just gotta eat <laughs> so um, that was great oh, I feel so good what next what next here is just sat next to me staring at me there he is Say hi, darling. <laughs> ah, good. Right, I'm gonna go and maybe make a coffee. Maybe a coffee. Nice in between. Make a coffee, get back to work, get like another three hours of solid work done, so then I can go swim. What time are we even on? Oh shit, it's half two. Oh god. I'm supposed to be leaving to go swimming like five. Right. Why did the days go so quick? Let's do it. Let's go. And these M&S mini bites. Mm. Got the um, millionaire shortbread ones. So good. Mm. I'm still sat here working. Mm. Maybe like an hour's work left. And then hopefully I'm going to swim. I need to message my friend to see if she wants to swim. Um, I should just go anyway, regardless. And the weather. We haven't seen blue sky in England for... 
what feels like months it's only on probably been a few weeks but weather has been awful recently um hence the bike crash the other day i shouldn't have been out um so yeah we, i should hate this opportunity to go swimming um whilst it's not raining and not thunder and lightning so i will do that today i will <laughs> You know, when it gets to the end of the day and it's like, oh, God, I've got to do another session. But once I'm there, I'll be fine. So, yeah, another hour or so of work. I'll eat these. And then mm, I would eat the whole box if it was here. And that's why I'm in a different room from the kitchen. So, yeah, afternoon snack. <laughs> work is done for the day. Well, <laughs> I've still got loads to do, but I can go back and do that after we're swimming. I need to get my swim done. So, let's pack. Let's pack wetsuit, swimming costume, towel, goggles, hat. Done. I've not even made my bed. <laughs> it's been one of those days. Let's just do this. Ooh. That looks nice and made from what you can see. Perfect. <laughs> hat and goggles. Towel. I need a swimming costume. Right, we're ready to go, I think. I've got everything. I think, oh, hairbrush, hairbrush, because your hair is always knotty after open water swimming, no matter how not knotty it is before you swim. After open water swimming, your hair's always knotty, it's a fact. Right, I'm gonna pick up my friend Sarah, who I swim with. She's an incredible swimmer. So I just try and hang on to her. That's, that's generally how any swim goes, whether we're in the pool or whether we're open water. I just try and catch up with her. <laughs> so I'm gonna go swim with her and um, I'll see you when we get there. Every single time. There it is, just staring at me. <laughs> Bye darling, I miss you. It's like, where are you going? Oh, darling. Don't look sad. <laughs> right, let's go swim. <laughs> Whenever I have this on, it's like a high neck swimming costume. It makes me look like a, a vicar or something. Um, I've got some saurine, about 100 grams of saurine to eat on the way to give me some energy. And then I'm not sure what I have to eat tonight, but I'm sure it'll be something great. So let's go swim. Here we go. Here's the, is it a quarry? That's what it is, it's called a quarry. Have you got a oh yeah, I'm a proper vlogger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I think there's the water. We do the laps are like, are they 300 meters? 350. 350 meters. So we'll do maybe like seven laps, make it around 2K. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot of swimming. Yeah, it's a busy, well, I think we only ever come like late on a weekend, don't we? Yeah. So I suppose like clubs come here and everything to our place of swimming. <laughs> How dare they? Oh, that green is a bit early. We are in. One laugh, it's like, yeah, we did seven, definitely. Seven, done. <laughs> Let's do this. Are you ready? <laughs> God, I look fucking awful. <laughs> I can't believe I put myself on the internet looking like this. It's um, what's it called? It's like realism though, isn't it? It's just, just me being me. You can't <laughs> be in the yeah. Like <laughs> right, we are done with our swim. How far did we do? 2,500. 2,500 meters. So that was a success. I didn't want to get in at first. And first like three laps, I was like, I can't do this. But actually towards the end, Got her in my face towards the end, started to pick up the pace. It was good. I couldn't keep up with Sarah, wherever she is. There's Sarah. <laughs> I told I told them about you at the beginning of the vlog saying that you were um I just try and keep on your feet and today I didn't keep on her feet because nowhere near her feet. <laughs> Apart from the last lap I managed to just about catch up. But um all good training. But yeah, happy we did that. And let's go home to eat more. <laughs> oh for God. I'm in. Are you good? <laughs> no, I can't. It's just so hard. <laughs> One day we should just use the changing rooms. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure. It's, it's an extra skill set, sure, they do so. <laughs> oh my god. Why is my costume stuck to me? Oh, I hate it when it does that. <laughs> I can't get out. <laughs> okay, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> oh. Right, swim is done. 
Um, the second shower of the day is done. Um, obviously all I do is like shower, eat, train, bit of work, repeat. Um, but yeah, that's all done. I feel better. I, yeah, it took me a while to get going in swimming today. It did take me a while. It happens. I mean, I did do a big run this morning, so I have to take that into account. But anyway, it's done and we have got fajitas for tea. Fajitas. Um, my brother and his girlfriend have arrived, so they're here. Mum and Dad, me, it's going to be a nice dinner. So I'll have a couple of fajitas and then I've got a bit more work to do. Um, it's just been one of those really busy days of training and also eating. Like, I think that's like the triathlon. It's something that is overlooked that like eating takes up quite a lot of time as well so um like training obviously takes time and showering and eating it's like it's, it's a separate full-time job anyway i'll get that done and get yeah get a bit more work done have a bit of a chill ready to do it all again tomorrow really so anyway anyway it's the heater time i'll catch up with you in a sec you ready for your feet to start in um laura do you want to get a chair from the dining room or that's cool he's over so mm. oh my god i can't wait are you excited? Where's your chicken, Hero? Where's your chicken? There it is. There's your chicken. I'm gonna put broccoli in mine. I'd expect nothing more. <laughs> is that an issue, Andrew? No. no. Can I watch it on but my own? Yes. Though? I'm putting broccoli in my wrap. Yes. Delicious you do that. I'm going to do it too. This hijack. Oh. So we'll, look to. Uh -huh. well, we'll catch up and we've only got two more to watch and we'll look caught up and you have to wait a week then. Mm. On a plane getting hijacked. Eight episodes. Well, we don't know, we, we don't know anything yet, do we? Um, we don't. Uh, we shouldn't talk about it too much then after we wait till we they might watch it. I don't think a plane getting hijacked gives away. <laughs> no. Cold hijack. <laughs> Tasty. Yeah. Just my, my rat's not quite in it. Your rat's broken. Broken. You've overfilled it. Did you put broccoli in it? Yeah. No, it's all the juice that you put in it. I think, mm. in my professional opinion. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and I've, and do I've got loads. Just do um, one for people that are ready. <laughs> she waved to me. Did she? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she waved at you. I didn't know yeah. that. Sorry. <laughs> Poor lady, just out on her run. She's all embarrassed. <laughs> Caught in the crossfire of the vlog. <laughs> you just need to say, well, this, yeah, I've had advice. Just do that. But yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. And then, you know, you've got your ears in, as at fault as you are. And that's me done for the day. Training done, food eaten. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna finish off some work now and then I will be ready for bed. Um, I've got a hot chocolate that I'm gonna have. I have hot chocolate like every night. And I have got some chocolate, those giant chocolate buttons. I'm gonna have a couple of them in my hot chocolate. And yeah, that's me done. Like you will have seen, I really do make sure to fuel as much as possible. You know, it's something I preach to my clients all the time, especially my clients with more performance-based goals, that if you're not fueling enough to support your training, then your training is going to suffer as a result because you're not going to be able to get the most out of your training. So often like people feel frustrated that they may not be making progress or making the progress that they think they deserve given like the amount of effort and time that they're putting into their training. But it's usually because they're under recovered and um, yeah, they're not giving their body the fuel that they need. Like rarely it's over training and often it's more so under recovery either obviously through like sleep and rest days and stuff but also through the nutrition that they're putting into their bodies to to help them recover from the sessions so yeah it is something that i mean i never used to take my nutrition seriously obviously coming from a background of my eating disorder it was something that i was like i don't need food my body doesn't need food um it definitely does so i can definitely feel the difference when i do feel properly and how amazing i do feel so yeah, it's um, it's been a good day and same again tomorrow. I've got a hard bike session in the morning, so I'll do that on my watt bike, and then um, and then yeah, we just we just carry on. I've got a six hour 
bike on I think Saturday so that will be my longest ride ever which is I was gonna say exciting it's not like it's daunting and oh my arm's hurting it's daunting and it's a long time to be on a bike on your own isn't it but I think this will be my well it is my last really long ride and then after that uh, it will be like um, I think they go down to like four hours the following week with like a longer run off the bike um, and then maybe it drops down again because yeah on Sunday I'll be four weeks out from my, my Ironman which blows my mind literally I remember starting this like YouTube series thing thinking like I've got I don't know I had like six months or something to prepare for this Ironman and now like from when I signed up I mean it was like six months away and now all of a sudden it's like four weeks away where's that time gone but I'm feeling ready I'm feeling like I'm ready to just do it it always gets to that point doesn't it when you get close to a race and you're like I just need to do it now so um so yeah that is that is me anyway um I hope you enjoyed this video as always um it's always hard as well to vlog like swimming I I I don't know, maybe I should have taken my camera down to the water, so apologies, there's not much footage there. But we did do a swim, we did 2,500 metres, which um, which I'm very proud of, um, because after a long run this morning, it was um, it was a challenge to get there as well. When you've been sat down at your desk all day, I'm sure for anyone who trains after work, it is a mental battle to get to the gym or to the, on your bike or to get yeah to, to the pool or whatever. So I'm glad I got that done, and I think that is me so yeah thanks for watching please do like subscribe comment all of those things and i will catch you in the next one